so in case you are just seeing my face for the first time and even if you have seen me before and you know me personally i would still like to introduce myself again my name is rebecca maolo Pardonu, and you can call me becca i am a content creator and a university lecturer in amadibolo university zaria i live in kaduna state nigeria so it's um, my pleasure to be here today to have all of you here. So this is um, a reading challenge for me. And um, I created this out of the passion to actually have people study, have people read, just to ensure that people imbibe more, you know, um, cultural attitude, habits um, around reading, basically. And we're starting off um, in 2022 with the book, The Unfair Advantage. You can see it on your screen. So this book, The Unfair Advantage, as you can see on the screen, is about discovering your hidden talent, you know, what you already have and how you can harness this to succeed. So basically, when people pick up this book, they feel, oh, it's just for entrepreneurs. Oh, it's for uh, those who are looking into startups. But I put it to you that, yes, it's for entrepreneurs. Yeah, it's for those who are into businesses. It's for those who are trying to build up, you know, their uh, companies, for those who are investing into startups. But it's also good for individuals because at the end of the day, you, you get to understand what the unfair advantage is and how you can harness it to be successful. I mean, there are a lot of things you're doing, even in your nine to five job, even as, as a career person, there is a way you can actually adapt this to suit you and, um, you know, get all the lessons, all the value from this book to ensure that you have an edge over others in your field. Um, the authors, as you can see on the screen as well, uh, are Ash Ali and Hassan Kuba. There are two people, you know, who wrote this book. Excuse me. Ash Ali is an award-winning serial tech entrepreneur and investor, while Hassan Kuba is a coach and entrepreneur and a keynote speaker. Uh, most recently, this book, their book, The Unfair Advantage, won the Business Book of the Year Award. That's really fantastic. It means it's got some credibility and um, it's something that is worth reading, that is worth discussing, and which is why we are here today. The next thing I would want to hear from us is our expectations. Please, I want you to use the chat box. Just type in there your expectation. Even if you're unable to join this live session, if this is a replay for you, you're watching the um, uploaded version, please type into the comment section your expectation from reading this book. What, what is your expectation? What are you looking at? What do you think you would get out of this? What are your expectations? I'm waiting for you. What are your expectations basically? What are those things you're looking out for? What do you think you'll gain from it? What, what are you looking forward to achieving with the uh, reading of this book? So I need you to write in the comment section. I'm waiting. Um, Jenny, who, whoever is also online, please. Um, I need you to write your expectations. For me, I think I'm rather very curious to know what the writers mean by the unfair advantage. Then to discover my unfair advantage and how I can harness it, you know, in, into uh, becoming even more successful, you know, into succeeding at my startup as an individual and the rest of it. So, yeah, I'm waiting for your expectation. What's the expectation from reading this book? What are you looking at? What do you think you can achieve? Or what, what do you think you will gain? What are the values you are expecting? What do you think? Just by probably reading um, the title or maybe you've seen the, um, you've seen a review of it. So you've seen a summary, you've seen, you've seen the blob somewhere, you know, and you're just expecting. So what is that thing that you are looking at? So, um, Please remember that it's important for you to actually write down your expectations. We will review them at the end of the challenge. So by the 27th day, when we'll be doing the complete review of this book, we will go back. We'll have to go back to what we were looking forward to, you know, getting from the book, what values we were looking forward to getting away from the book. So, yes, um, I'll be waiting at the end of that day and you should take note of that too. So, fine, let's do a quick recap. A sort of read with me you know today if you if you check out this um schedule the reading challenge schedule for today you're supposed to have read pages 
1 to 13 pages 1 to 13 and basically pages 1 to 13 is about the introduction just the introduction ash ali and um hassan uh, kuba trying to uh, tell us what to expect you know just laying the right foundation you know um trying to let us know what to expect from the book how are usman i see you welcome uh i need you to write your expectations just putting your expectation in this chat box but you shouldn't end in this chat box actually you should pen it down somewhere your expectation from this book so really let's do a quick um recap some sort of read with me so i would um share my screen from here i will just quickly run through it just the introduction that's where we are today that's the task for today um and i hope you all will come with me right now okay so basically here we go introduction um i would love that you come through you you just follow me as we go little by little through these pages i have highlighted some places you might not even end up reading them but i just needed us to do the recap especially for those who haven't even read it so if you see the first part i highlighted it says as the first marketing director of just eat uk and the number three hire on the senior management team i have been asked this question over and over again after the phenomenal 1.5 billion pounds initial public offering ipo of our online food ordering startup in 2014 people would ask ash you were there from the beginning what is the secret you know people saw that he was successful and they wanted to know what is going on and he found himself saying was it the idea the technology the growth hacks the team the timing maybe it was just the sheer hard work and hustle that we put in what really led to one of the largest tech startup, uh, startup ipos the uk had seen in almost a decade you know and he went on to say okay even after now you know he didn't pay much attention to it when people were asking him these questions of oh you were there from the very beginning and now you're so fully blown really successful so you should know the secrets to how you did it you know so you've been there all along but he didn't pay attention to it even when they asked him this question so he went ahead to even you know create many more um startups he did the fair exchange he did the start uh, the um the wash plus the on-demand uh, mobile laundry app he did a lot more he did a lot more and he was successful at it you know he said at some point if you, if you check the last part the one highlighted in blue he said i developed the reputation for being a growth hacker someone who's good at growing a startup really really fast because he went on to do other things and he was really successful if you go to the next page you see um the parts where they wrote the lie of meritocracy basically what they were saying here is that everyone in fact every successful um entrepreneur um founder co-founder would want to say oh yeah it's because of the hard work i've put it into it it's because of my passion it's because of my commitment it's because of the early hours i wake up and face my work that's why i'm successful and they are saying they are debunking that fact they're saying it's a lie the lie of meritocracy that is not just about that that is not all about that and uh basically they're saying oh this is just the american dream you know now if you if you've read um if you've read death of a salesman by athamila you can relate to this that willie lawman the salesman was really hard working he would trek wake up walk do the work but it didn't pay off it wasn't paying off so what what's what is it to to this being hard working according to them if we check the highlighted areas they said meritocracy means that those who merit it are the ones are the ones who achieve it in other words those who deserve to get rich get rich it means if you work hard you're committed you put in the hours at work you will get rich you'll be successful you will get what you want but really well i'm beginning to align with them you know it's not really correct because i know lots of young men young women who actually put in the work but they're not getting the results it might not even be a startup it might be at their career they're putting in the work they're doing a whole lot but they're not getting anything further if you read further on the highlighted part it says the underlying idea is that we can all be like amazing billionaire entrepreneurs if only we pulled our socks up 
If only we got up at 4 a.m. and hustled hard enough, we read articles and watched new segments about their tips and tricks for success. Of course, we see them all around our motivational speakers of how, you know, you must be very disciplined enough, hard working, uh, you know, hard enough greed and perseverance. And that is how you can you can actually make it. So they are, they are actually debunking that fact. Okay, um, on the next page, the next highlighted uh, place for me is, he said, I'm ready to, they said really, because I mean, authors, <laughs> two people, I'm ready to answer that question. How does a startup become so successful? I mean, that's why we are here. So why delay anyways? If you go down to the highlighted place, no, the, the section in bold, success in the startup world is really awarded to the hardest workers. Hmm. Okay, it is awarded to those who develop and use their unfair advantage. By unfair advantage, we do not mean an unethical or illegal advantage, although we are sure there are many of those. Of course, there are many of those. An unfair advantage is a competitive upper hand and you set of unfair advantages uh, and your set of unfair advantages is unique to you. Yeah. You know, they went on to make example with um, the basketball team, a basketball t uh, player who is tall and another one who is short. Of course, automatically, the taller one has unfair advantage over the shorter one, no matter what the shorter one does. You know, basketball is a game of height. So the taller, the better. And um, they explained in that aspect. Moving on, they said, um, although startup businesses are not physical sports, but similar rules apply. If you're privileged, educated, rich or smarter, you are more likely to win. But luckily, that's not the full extent of it. Okay, it means it has a place in it. It means that, yeah, if you're smarter, you, you're more exposed, you're richer, you're educated. Of course, you have an edge already. But they are saying, okay, that's not even all there is. Okay, let's find out. Next page, they then went ahead to say that this book is not about your product. It is not about your um, your business per se. It is not about your company. It is about you. And that is why this book is unique. It is about the entrepreneur. It is about the individual who is reading this book. Not your company. Not where you work. Not the things you produce. Not the things you sell. Not the things you create, not the things you invent. It is about you, the creator, the inventor, the founder, you know, the doer. This book is about you. Yeah, he mentioned, uh, they mentioned that the simple reason is that it all starts with you. Of course, it all starts with you. Uh, whatever you have inside of you is what you bring out anyways. They made mention of a very um, strategic point and something quite interesting to me, the goal of traction. They said... Um, that for every business, whether you need an invent, uh, investor or not, you need to um, have gathered momentum for you to be successful. You need to have gathered momentum. Let's read from uh, the book itself, from the highlighted part. It says, it's very rare to raise funding without having any momentum. As Ellen Bobbage calls it, momentum means getting more and more people to buy or use your products. This is also known as traction in the sense that you're starting to make progress in your startup rather than just spinning the wheels and just turning round and round, getting nowhere like a car stuck in deep snow, like you're stuck in the mud and you're not going anywhere, just going round and round. So they're saying that for you to even be successful, the goal of traction should be top priority for you. It means you need to gain momentum. It means you need to... Rather than stay in one place, keep exposing, keep expanding, you know, keep getting more people. I think it's the people for me. It's the, the key point for me here is more people, more people getting to know you, more people getting to know what you do. Doesn't matter how many people, I mean, this is my translation now, doesn't matter if um, it's exponential or not, if it's just by 1,000 or by two people, I mean, you're progressing. The progression is the most important thing right here okay let's move um along quickly then they went ahead to talk about quite a number of things on this very next page the highlighted part says uh, most startups fail not because they can't build the products but because they can't get traction aha yeah so because you, you really can't get 
additions of people, more people getting to know you, more people getting to um, know your products, really, if you can't gain traction, this is what they've said. And most importantly, what they said that really um, struck me about the traction is that the only way you can build traction, therefore, is by you discovering your unfair advantages. It is when you have discovered your unfair advantages that you then harness them, you know, to get traction. And it is in getting traction that you become successful. <laughs> okay, let's get on. So this last part says that after reading this book, you walk away with money. Okay, now, you know, we're initially talking about what is expected, what's the expectation. Now they are even telling us what to expect, what we get away with, the value they are giving to us. Interesting. So it says a strong understanding of what an unfair advantage is for both an individual and a startup. You see, so you don't even have to be an entrepreneur. I mean, as a person, you get a strong understanding. Okay, fine. This answers my own expectation from the beginning i said i needed a strong understanding awesome okay the number two says an understanding of how to find and use your own unfair advantages to succeed in business and number three says the startup quick the startup quick start guide to get you going with a really solid foundation on this crazy journey hmm. it's really a crazy journey startup is never easy life itself is never easy so <laughs> Yeah, so basically, this is what they are promising us, you know, from this book that we will be getting. I'm not here to read everything, so I'll skip. <laughs> so finally, on this last part, the end of introduction, it says, if you're thinking of starting your entrepreneurial journey, this book is for you. We can relate so strongly to aspiring founders and that feeling of freedom that you crave, as well as the fear that you feel and um, which is holding you back. And if you're already running a startup, you're struggling with some of those early stage challenges, this book is also for you. It's your first step to the fast track with the information you will gain from the understand section, which is part one, and the practical steps and miles framework in the audit section, part two. You will look at success and your own personal and circumstantial strengths and weaknesses like never before. Equipped with those advantages, you will be confident and ready for part three which is a startup quick start guide. You will be set to take the startup world by storm. Okay. And make those dreams a reality. Let's dive in. Woo. Okay. And <laughs> really, this is the end of, um, of the introduction. End of introduction. We're back here. End of introduction. Welcome back. So really, um, it's been... It's been it's been quite a ride, and I feel they've um, prepared us. They've prepared us for what is ahead. They've prepared us for um, what is expected. How else, man? You say, okay, my expectation is that after finishing this book, I'll be able to have a in, um, to have an introspective look at my life and find my unfair advantage. Awesome, beautiful, and I think it's one of those things that we've been promised. We've been promised in this book. Awesome, fantastic. So here is the question for today. Here is the question for today. The question says, how does a startup become so successful? How does a startup, how does a startup become so successful? That is the question for today. And really that is um, the question that led to the writing of this book. So it stood out for me. It's important that um, we actually take this question forward. You know, how, how does, um, a startup becomes successful and if you're not in startup how do you as a person how do you become successful now we have a call to action call to action for today basically is that we should ensure i beg you i of course i'm your accountability partner but yes I plead with you, I beg you, please, ensure that you reach the allotted pages in due time. This is the schedule here, right here, the 27-day reading challenge. Read the allotted pages in due time and remember to take notes. Usually, I recommend um, reading with the pocket book reader. That is what I use, the pocket book reader, which is where I actually um, um, st uh, streamed this from the uh, the introduction what we just read now that's the app i use the pocket book reader if you need me to send that to you i'll leave a link in the description box somewhere where i can actually send you 
um, the actual pictures um, of the app so you get the right app you can actually reach me on whatsapp then you get the correct app yeah um if you also need if you haven't gotten the copy of the book and you're watching this check the description box you will see a link to where you can get it from um yes finally i have a giveaway yes this is the giveaway so <laughs> I actually have access to the audio version of this book on Audible. Audible is um, an Amazon outlet where you actually listen to audiobooks. The interesting part of this particular one that I'm studying now, The Unfair Advantage, is the fact that it was read by both authors and another voice actor. So it was read by three people, two out of which are the authors. So it's interesting. It's like Ash Ali talking to you. It's like Hassan Kuba talking to you. So they're the ones talking to you, basically just listening to their voice. Today, I was driving around and I was just listening to it over and over again. I listened to it more than one time. At least the introduction now, I've listened to it twice. I've even read through. So it's right here, you know. So if you want this, that's my giveaway. If you want me to send you a copy, um, a link to that, just um, 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 chat me up on WhatsApp if you join from WhatsApp. If not, I will leave a link in the description box where you can reach me on WhatsApp, then I'll send you a link. But mostly I think it would work if you have not used, if you have not used Audible before, because if you have used Audible before, you may have to pay for it. But if you are a first timer on Audible, you have, um, you can listen to that for free and you have the first month for free. Afterwards, you have to pay by me. You can enjoy this for free. Um, I think, um, We've spent our time well. I enjoyed my time here today. And I just want to encourage all of us to pay attention to this to ensure that we turn it into a habit and ensure that we follow this schedule from today, day one to day 27. So we'll have the um, group discussion. If you're still here, we say something in the comment section. I want to know if this session, if what we just did now, what we just finished now, if it is useful for you, if it's actually... Um, if it's actually helpful, if you gained from it, if it helps in ensuring that you read the book. If you actually want more of this, just let me know. I am waiting. So thank you very much for joining today's session. Hopefully we'll continue for days two and three. So if you look at the next one, it's actually two in one, two and three. So it means tomorrow there will be no discussion, but the day after there'll be discussion. We do it same time same place and afterwards we'll upload this for other people to watch thank you so much for joining do have a great night rest bye